Historically, whites in Texas had expressed reservations about granting Mexicanos voting privileges. According to one member, there existed a finely drawn legal distinction declaring that no man of Mexican blood had a right to vote. Apparently, the pronouncement of club member T.J. McMinn, the legal distinction would disenfranchise approximately one-third of the Mexican voters of Bixar County. McMinn, persistent in his legal argument, countered that the word person in the amendment was ambiguous. He said, quote, a Mongolian is not a person, an Indian is not a person, a woman is not a person, is an Aztec a person. From the suffrage standpoint, a. L. Montablo, the leading spirit in the movement, addressed the Texas Mexicans in Spanish, admonishing them that the upcoming November election included issues that would gravely affect the civil rights of Mexicanos as citizens of the United States. He denounced the Populist Party for seeking to pass state legislation designed to rob Mexicanos of their rights and accused it, along with McMinn, by desiring to reduce Texas Mexicans, quote, to the category of pack animals who may be good enough to work but not good enough to exercise any civil rights. He emphasized that the Republicans had fused with the populace and that both parties expressed anti-Mexican attitudes. Considering all the foregoing laws, treaties, and constitutional provisions, which either affirmatively conferred the right of citizenship upon Mexicans or tactically recognized their right to individual naturalization, the conclusion forced itself upon the mind, concluded the judge that citizens of Mexico were eligible to American citizenship and could be individually naturalized by complying with the provisions of American laws. In employing the power at their disposal to weaken the voting capability of Mexicanos, whites had failed. While directed at the practice of bossism, such experiences indeed explains the relative political powerlessness among 19th century Tejanos. Repeated intimidation produced discouragement, distrust, and doubt as to the futility of their participation. Psychologically, the contact estranged them to the point of minimal involvement, a behavior that came not from apathy, lack of leadership, factionalism, culture, or socioeconomic factors, but from external conditions stifling their political potential.